Well, a new partnership in Tyler will provide a place for first responders and healthcare workers who don't want to go home for fear of exposing loved ones to COVID-19. The Hand Up Network will be running the facilities set up at Tyler Junior College. KLTV's Arthur Claiborne shows us how the facilities will be used. It's all the people that are actually working out there on the front lines that are looking for an opportunity to be able to go out and, and basically be able to get a place to rest without having to go home and maybe expose elderly at home or, or, or family. Every room is set up with a two twin XL bed. There's two, but they all get their own room. Place to have a nice shower and kind of get away and be able to, to take a break. These are our laundry facilities that all of our EMS people have access to. And so they get a room and if they need to do their laundry, we, you know, there is no charge or anything. It's all set up for them. So they have four washers, four dryers. We need organizations that can help us with food. We need people that can help us, you know, pull together these gift bag items. We have things, you know, like, you know, washcloths and, and everything from snacks and, and you name it. We have a list of things that we want to put in our gift bags for these responders. We also want the kids in our community to write notes to these heroes and tell them how much they appreciate them. And you know, just put a little note of encouragement in there because this is really hard work. These people are exhausted when they come in the door. We really do need a lot of help right now. We need volunteers to, to actually help us put together gift bags. The second building that we have obviously is a, a respite care, but it's for people that possibly have been exposed or that have been tested for the COVID-19. We are putting them into a 14-day quarantine and they're able to quarantine here in this facility. And then from that perspective, we can keep an eye on them, make sure we take care of them medically, but they're also in a place where they're not infecting anyone else and they're being taken care of properly. The two buildings basically will allow us to really take care of about 144 people in each building. And the Hand Up Network is also looking for volunteers and help from the community. If you'd like to help, just go to KLTV.com, scroll down on our homepage and click on the big red box. There you'll find a link to the story with information about what they need.